So in this brief presentation, I'm going to explain about the genetic code. So in the field of molecular biology, we come to know that genetic informations travel from DNA to RNA and then finally to protein. So in this diagram, you can have some idea that how informations travel from DNA to RNA and then to protein. It is DNA molecule which is genetic material of majority of organisms. You can say that all prokaryotes as well as eukaryotes, they have DNA as their genetic material. Except some viruses, you know, uh, which possess RNA as their genetic material, we find that majority of organisms, uh, they possess this is structure, double standard structure as their genetic content. And uh, this DNA is efficient enough to replicate into its own copies. So the entire length of DNA, double standard DNA can replicate in very faithful manner and it can form its own copies. So during uh, replication process, DNA gets duplicated. And then its small portions could be synthesized in the form of RNA. Here I am considering mainly messenger RNA. And uh, this process of synthesis of RNA from DNA is known as transcription. Now consider this to be a messenger RNA because the synthesized RNA could be even transfer RNA or ribosomal RNA. But I am considering here the messenger RNA which will actually decide the uh, type of protein because uh, there are nucleotides present on the RNA molecule and uh, such nucleotides decide that what sequence of amino acid will be there in the protein. And from this RNA, the protein is synthesized and this process is called as translation. So this travel or this uh, uh, movement of information from DNA to RNA and then to protein is actually central dogma of molecular biology. Now, in this diagram, you see I have made here a double-stranded DNA molecule. And uh, see the upper strand is 5' prime to 3'. Prime. The lower one, which is its in, uh, complementary strand, is 3' prime to 5'. Prime. Now, suppose the lower strand is being used for the synthesis of RNA molecule, uh, particularly the messenger RNA molecule. So here it is uh, being represented 3 prime to 5 prime and RNA synthesis will be taking place on this template strand with the help of RNA polymerase enzymes. Now what will happen that this strand will act, will act as template. So synthesis will be occurring in 5 prime to 3 prime direction and after the transcription process the mRNA molecule gets synthesized. So we find that nucleotides they are arranged in the messenger RNA and these nucleotides are AUGC that is adenine, uracil, guanine and then cytosine. These are uh, you know four bases present here except you know T. T is actually present in the DNA molecule so instead of T here U would be coming. Now in this messenger RNA these letters like AUG or UUC, so three letters make a codon. And uh, these three letters will be identifying a specific amino acid. So what was actually observed that since there are four letters, you know, AUGC are four letters. And uh, uh, if they are, you know, means are deciding the type of amino acid, then exactly how many letters uh, in a group will be encoding for one amino acid. So this was actually the challenge in the beginning uh, for the scientists to understand. And uh, American scientists actually cracked this genetic code uh, from the organisms. And they were able to say that three nucleotides in continuation, they make a, a complete word. And that specific word will be are actually useful to encode a particular amino acid. So here 
uh, you can see in this table uh, all the possible you know codons are shown actually if you consider three letter encoding for one amino acid are making a codon three letters making a codon then total 64 codons would be possible because you know four uh, nucleotides are there a u g c and if these four nucleotides are arranged in the group of three then total 64 you know possibilities will be there so total 64 codons could be uh, written like this and there is a specific you know manner of presenting this genetic code dictionary uh, you can present here you can represent the first letter here that is u here uh, the second letter uh, could be presented and on this right side all these uh, four letters are actually shown in one group so these are the group of four letters so you see how this genetic uh, code dictionary is decided first letter like u then second letter like u and then the third letter coming from this side right side u will make a codon u u u so this is one codon the second one will be u u and c from this side so this is u u c then third will be u u and a and fourth codon will be u u and g exactly the same way if you are considering codons for this group then it will be a the first letter u the second letter and u the third letter and then a u c uh, it will be second codon possible over here so this is the way all these 64 codons are decided now in this 64 you know codon system what we find that only 61 encode for a specific amino acids 61 because 3 recognize uh, for none of the amino acids so UAA is top codon means it is a stop codon it is also considered as terminator codon likewise UAG is a stop codon and UGA is the third you know stop codon or terminator codon so out of these 64 codons three are terminator codons so you can say that only 61 are there which are actually encoding for specific amino acids since there are 20 amino acids you can exactly count the 20 amino acids present in this table and what we are observing that the codon AUG is encoding for methionine and methionine is initiator codon that is the protein synthesis actually starts from this from the 5 prime end by utilizing the first codon over there that is AUG so this is for methionine and this is initiator codon now we are also observing that some of the means uh, certain codons are there uh, uh, which are which encode a single amino acid like methionine is one of them same way UGG it is a single codon which encodes for tryptophan and uh, in other cases a single amino acid may be recognized by more than one codon like here in this case there are four codons here which recognize for serine and also there are two more codons here uh, AGU and AGC for serine so there are actually six codons which recognize for serine amino acid likewise you see here leucine it is identified by six codons two here and remaining four are here which encode for leucine so by going through this table we can have the idea that which codon encodes to which amino acids now there are certain uh, characteristics of this genetic code dictionary the first one is genetic code is universal it means uh, this codon system this genetic code is actually applicable in all the organisms 
whether they are viruses or bacteria or eukaryotes or uh, you know mitochondrial system or chloroplast in their case uh, similar or same you know genetic code is actually applicable so it is universal i will talk about some of the exceptions but it is to a large extent universal that is it is being followed in all sorts of organism then it shows degeneracy degeneracy means when uh, means there may be more than one codon for a single amino acid i just said that uh, in this case what we are observing that uuu and uuc both codons are recognizing for phenylalanine amino acid likewise here these six are recognizing leucine so this aspect is considered as degeneracy because uh, there are more than one codon for a single amino acid then the genetic code is unambiguous means it is doubtless it does it means that a single codon or a each codon codes for just one amino acid if it is uuu then this uuu will encode only to phenylalanine it is not going to encode any other amino acid so this aspect is considered as unan <coughs> unambiguous or it is doubtless then the genetic code is commonless it means codons are read in continuation so if three letters make a codon then exactly the uh, other three letters in continuation will make another uh, you know codon so there is no gap there means none of the uh, nucleotide uh, is considered as a gap so this happens in uh, continuation and it is also non overlapping that is none of the nucleotides is considered twice means if uh, you consider that a specific letter has been considered for a codon um, system then it will uh, its any other letter will not be um, used for the codon of other type now i just said that certain exceptions are there i said that the genetic code is actually universal but there are certain exceptions and this exception we can see in this table like uh, there are codons you see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 cases have been shown here and these are codons like uga this uga in the genetic code dictionary uh, that uh, recognizes stop codon that is actually stop codon or terminator codon but this terminator codon uh, in case of human and yeast mitochondria is used to encode tryptophan so this is a kind of exception and also in case of mycoplasma this uga is actually used to encode tryptophan then then uh, it, in case of cua c cua is a codon that actually identifies leucine okay it identifies leucine uh, in in normal situation but in case of yeast mitochondria it encodes for threonine likewise aua in uh, genetic code dictionary it is uh, used to encode isoleucine but here in case of human mitochondria it identifies methionine aga in normal situation it recognizes for uh, arginine but then uh, in case of human mitochondria it uh, um, it is used for stop codon uh, it is actually a terminator codon agg uh, this is used for identifying arginine but uh, in case of human mitochondria it is used as a stop codon likewise uaa and uag these two are stop codon in a genetic code dictionary but these two are used to identify glutamine see glutamine in case of paramecium 
and uh, tetrahymena. So these are certain exceptions uh, which you should understand that uh, it is uh, not completely universal because uh, certain exceptions do exist. Now the genetic uh, code, it was deciphered by uh, a number of uh, American biologists, particularly biochemists. See the M. W. Nirenberg, R. W. Holly, and Hargovin Khurana. These were the scientists who discovered about the genetic code, and uh, this was actually accomplished in the early 1960s. Then the genetic code has been found to show some variation in certain organisms and in the mitochondria of some eukaryotes, which I just said that exceptions are there.